In the mornings, I watch a show on ESPN called Get Up. One of Thursday's guests was Bart Scott, a linebacker who played for the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Jets before retiring in 2012. He now works for ESPN. I would have shown you a picture of Mr. Scott, but couldn't find one that I knew was fair use. I don't want a copyright strike on YouTube this early in the game. The discussion revolved around the expected temperature in Buffalo when the New England Patriots would be playing the Bills on January 16th, with temperatures expected to hover around 8 degrees at game time. In an interview, Bills quarterback Josh Allen had said that he had problems with his feet staying warm. Bart Scott had the perfect solution. Viagra. Um, what? Scott insisted that a lot of NFL players in his day took Viagra on cold days because it improved circulation to the hands and feet. I thought the ESPN talking heads, Diana Rossini and Dan Graziano, were going to fall out of their chairs. I know that the Get Up panelists have meetings before airtime, and Graziano did say that Scott brought it up in the meeting, but was surprised he said it on air. Viagra, whose generic name is sildenafil citrate, was originally developed by Pfizer to treat cardiovascular problems. It was supposed to be used to dilate the blood vessels of the heart. Researchers were soon to discover, however, that the blood vessels being dilated were not just in the heart. The drug was repositioned, which means used for another purpose other than the original, and marketed as a treatment for erectile dysfunction. Viagra was patented in 1996 and approved by the FDA in 1998. Sometime later, research studies were done to see if sildenafil could be used as it was originally intended, a heart drug. In 2005, the FDA approved the drug for pulmonary arterial hypertension, a condition that constricts blood flow to the lungs. It is sold under the brand name Revatio for this condition. But the question is, will Viagra work to increase circulation in the hands and feet? I decided to take a hard look at this issue, so you don't have to. It turns out that Scott wasn't that far off base. A study in the magazine Circulation said that Viagra could be used for a condition called Raynaud's phenomenon a condition where small blood vessels spasm in response to changes in temperature. The condition affects 3 to 5 million people. The blood vessels constrict and blood flow is reduced to fingers and toes. Raynaud sufferers have episodes of numbness as well as tingling and pain in the fingers and toes. They may also develop skin ulcers which are slow to heal. This can result in the death of the tissue and complications like gangrene. The Viagra study took 18 patients and gave them Viagra twice a day for four weeks. Symptoms improved and the length of the attacks were shorter. Far be it for me to question the truthfulness of Scott's claim concerning his teammates and their use of Viagra for cold hands and feet but I really doubt that there was an epidemic of ED that was running through the NFL faster than a defensive back getting a beat on Tom Brady. He wouldn't have a reason to lie. Can't wait to find out if this is true. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find confirmation in my research to confirm this. Mum's the word, I guess. And what does Pfizer have to say about Scott's recommendations? I don't think they were wild about his take on this alternate use of Viagra. TMZ tracked down a Pfizer rep who said that Viagra should only be used for the approved indications and always under the supervision of a physician. And Josh Allen? The final score in that Bills Patriots wildcard game was 47 to 17, with Allen throwing for 308 yards and five touchdowns. No news on whether he took Scott's advice. This brings up another issue. If the game lasts more than four hours, do they need to call the trainer? Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this lighthearted video informative and entertaining. I've listed the references in the description below.